All right, dude. <laughs> All right, checkers. What are we going to drop today, dude? An ant. Cool. All right, checkers, you got your marker. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. We've got tons of bugs, huh? Yes. But we've never done an ant before, mm -hmm. so this is going to be fun. It's going to be super cool. We're going to even color this one. I wish we would have colored all the other bugs. Yeah. I know. It would have been awesome. We well, colored one we, of them, the butterfly. The butterfly one? Yeah. Maybe but we just butterfly. recently started coloring stuff, and it's been a lot of fun. So we're going to do it with this ant. All right? We're going to color this ant. Okay, let's start. We're going to start with his head. We got our paper horizontal, right? Yeah. And we're doing that because the ant's going to be this way. Okay? Got so we're going to first start with his head. And it's going to be an oval. All right? And it's going to be tipped at an angle. Good job. Okay, now we're going to put his, he's got some pictures on there. You're kind of sick, aren't you? Yeah. You got a cough and a runny nose. Mm -hmm. I hate being sick. Yeah. It's never fun, huh? Mm -hmm. So we've got a pincher on there, and then we're going to draw another pincher. We can do it back this way. And we're trying to draw him 3D, so I'm going to draw that one a little smaller and in the background. It looks like it's kind of in the back. All right, then we're going to do his eye. Put a big old, big old eye on there. And then let's color that guy in. Got it? Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna do his first antenna. We're gonna do a curved line. Comes out of the middle of his head, curve it down, and then we'll curve it back out again. Then we can put, give it a little thickness like that. Come back and then back into his head. That look like a cool antenna. Yeah. You colored yours in. That's totally cool. I'm gonna color it brown later. Oh. Okay. Well, well, that part I kind of went again because it wasn't. It seemed like it was just going like this. Oh, did you kind of correct? You tried to yeah. correct it. Cool. Good for you, dude. Okay, now let's do his other antenna. That's what's cool about art. It doesn't matter, right? We yeah. can make it a little different. It's totally fine. That's why I didn't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get mad over art, huh? <laughs> All right, and then we're going to bring it back in. And this one I'm putting behind. So see how this one comes in front? Yeah, I should color this, this one so it will be more... So it's the same? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Awesome. Cool. I like how thick your antennas are. Oh. <laughs> so you went in front. See how this one went in front? And this one's in front too? I only went in front on this one, and then this one's behind, so I stopped there. But that's all right. We practice, right? I'm yeah. just kind of pointing it out so the next time we can do it a little different. Okay, let's do the middle part. So we got his head, and we got his, we're going to put his little neck piece in here. And I don't know the names for all the bug parts. We can look them up later. This is okay? head. Head, and the next part is thorax, I think. Thorax, yep. and then ab abdomen. 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 Yeah, abdomen. Good job. Okay, now let's do it. So let's do his thorax. And this could be an oval shape. And just come around and back in. And we'll connect it to his neck so it looks like the neck piece is in front. And there's a lot of other parts. And our art friends can look up those parts and they can add them a little bit later because there's some other stuff in here. But we're just going to do this, the next part that connects. We're just going to make it small like this. I think it's actually a little bit longer. Got it? Yeah. Then we'll do his abdomen. <laughs> we're going to go up, big, down and then in like this. So see how it curves up, but then kind of comes straight, straighter across here. Yeah. So it's flatter at the bottom, curve big at the top. And we could have shifted our ant a little bit more this way so it'd be in the center. And we can practice that next time. Okay, let's do his legs. So we're gonna put these small little bumps here, three of them on this side. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the, the first segment of his leg. And then we'll draw the second one. And then we'll draw his little foot coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and we could put little, they got little hairs on them too if we wanna put those on there. But um, let's do the next one. Draw 
the same thing. Draw the next part. And the cool thing too about this insect is that, uh, about insects and drawing this ant, is that we could draw him, his legs doing different things. See how your legs are a little bit different position than mine? Yeah. And that's totally cool because they're mo they move their legs in different positions. So I think it's awesome to change it and make it look different than what I'm drawing. So I'm drawing this one bending back the other way. That's awesome. Weird. That's really cool. No, it looks like he's walking. No, no, what I mean, like weird, like one foot's going and this one way, foot's and back. one goes to this way, and then the other <laughs> foot's going that one. Okay, now, I, now see, we put these three uh, smaller bumps here on this side, but on the other side, we're going to pretend that they're hidden because um, they're on the other side of his body. So we're not going to draw those, but we're going to draw his legs coming out. Does that make sense? So we don't, that's why we don't draw those three over there is because it's covered up. 3D. And then we'll do another one. And we can make these a little shorter because it, it's also in 3D. So they don't have to be as long because maybe they're tipped differently. I'm going to draw a leg, the foot. And I'm going to draw this other foot coming out, her leg coming out this way. Down. This foot. Draw this other foot, other leg coming out this way. And then I'm going to draw this down this way like it's behind his abdomen. Is that cool? Yeah. And I, can, I forgot. Let's put the little. Well, I could just do this. It's awesome. Hey, I'm going to do a contour line across his body to make it look round. And I'm going to do another one back here on his abdomen. Does that, doesn't that make him look more 3D, more yeah. round? Okay, let's color him, dude. This yeah. is going to be a lot of fun coloring. We're going to try and make him look very realistic. Okay, we got our colors picked out, huh? We're going to do this brown, and it's kind of a red brown. we also got black, we got an orange, and we got our white. You ready? Yeah. We're going to blend our the front of the ant from brown to black, and then we're going to put a white on top to make him look shiny. Okay. okay? And we're going to try it. Here we go. So let's start with our brown. And we're going to press uh, firm at the front. And then as we go towards the back. Actually, you know what? I think we'll add the black on top. So let's go ahead and just do a firm. We'll press down uh, firmly with this brown. And just do it in solid. And that's... So we're not going to do this. We don't want to do it light like this. We want to press kind of hard so it fills the whole thing in. Okay? okay. So let's speed it up because we're going to... This is going to take us a little while. And then our art friends can pause the video. They can color in their ants and then start the video back up. Okay? Okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, dude. Okay, now I got the orange, and we're going to lighten up some of the parts. So the great thing, the cool thing about oil pastels that's a little bit different than crayons is that you can put a light color on top of a dark color, huh? Yep. So I just pressed really hard, and it takes a little bit to get it to start showing up, but eventually you'll start seeing the orange get brighter and brighter the more you put uh, the like more you go I over got it. Like a yellow orange shirt. Yeah, and that works. It just went really fast. Yeah. Um. So you can get um, the bottom of his legs. So I started at his feet and then worked up through his legs. And I wanted it really orange down at the bottom where his foot is. And then as I got closer to his body, I wanted it to get more and more brown. So I got lighter as it went up. Kay. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. All right, good job. Now we're going to use our black, and we're going to start at the back of his body, and we're going to slowly get lighter as we get towards the front of his body. So we're going to start really dark with the black at the back of his, what is this called again? Uh, 
abdomen. abdomen, yeah. And I am coloring in the same direction as that contour line to try and make it look 3D. That looks awesome. You did a great job. I love how dark you started here and then you got a lot lighter towards the front of his towards the front of your ant. Okay, now we're going to get the brown again and we're going to put another layer on top and this is going to smooth out all of that black texture, that rough texture that the black created into a nice smooth gradation from dark to light. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It's almost like magic sometimes when you're using oil pastels. It is, huh? Yeah. It's cool how it smooths out. All right, it looks nice and smooth, huh? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, now we got our white, and then we're gonna put a highlight on top of his eye, make it look shiny. Hurry on my white. <laughs> That's okay. So you you know how we when we usually draw the eye, we usually leave a little circle for the highlighter. Yeah. It's kind of cool if you color it in solid with the marker. You can always go back with a white pastel, oil pastel, and put that little light reflection on his eye. Is that cool? Yeah. I ask you if that's cool all the time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I should ask you a different question. All right, okay, now we're gonna do now we're gonna do a little reflection on his head because ants are shiny because the bodies are made out of this uh, hard shell protective exoskeleton, huh? Yes. So I'm gonna use the the white to put this little reflection on him. And I'm gonna put another reflection over there. Okay, we put this in, and sometimes you have to go over it several times to get the white to show up. But eventually it'll it'll pop. So see if you put a couple more layers on top, you can get even a little hot, a little whiter spot right there. Yes, and we're kind of running low on this. That's why we got these other extra ones here. You want to use a, a big one? It's a little easier to use. There you go, look at that, now it's even wider. Yeah. Cool, okay, now let's do a reflection on top of his abdomen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna also do one on his What's this called again? Uh, I call this the yeah. abdomen. This is thorax, right? Yeah. And I, this is abdomen. Yeah. <laughs> I got mixed up. From there, you can get kind of the main reflection in first, and then where the hot, really bright reflection go over it even more and it gets wider. Dude, good job! Your ant turned out awesome! I love how cool he looks. They look different, huh? Yeah. But that's totally cool, right? Because you drew this one and I drew this one and we're not the same people, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to draw the exact same picture, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that would be hard for you to draw the exact same picture that I drew, huh? Yeah. Almost impossible, I think. <laughs> What's the most important thing, though, when we're doing art? To have fun! Yes, to have fun, and we hope you guys had a ton of fun following us. We want to see how your ants turned out, so be sure to send a photo of them to our email address. What's our email address? Uh, myart@artforkidshub.com. Yes, myart@artforkidshub.com. And they can also sign up for a free account on our art club, right? Yeah. Where's that at? Myart, wait, no, artforkidshub.club. Yeah. Yes, artforkidshub.club. Artforkidshub.com is our main site, and .club is our art club site, yeah. where you guys can post as many photos as you want of all your art. So we'd love to see what you guys have drawn today, so be sure to sign up for a free account and start posting. <laughs> Should we say goodbye? Yeah. All right, we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. I'm in. No, you're not. Squish. <laughs>